Hello, this is Alessandrina with Dexter and Alessandrina. And today I wanted to talk about negative emotions and why it's okay to have them and to accept them. So sometimes when we feel negative emotions, we might then judge ourselves for feeling them. And subconsciously, we don't know we're doing that, we're either referencing a self-image where we see ourselves as uh, kind and, and loving and caring and then we don't understand why we would feel negative emotions so then we judge ourselves for feeling that way or we can be in a process of essentially projecting someone else onto our process of um, evaluating assessing uh, how we feel what we think for instance, we can have internalized a parent or, or a friend or even just um, more generally speaking, the collective consciousness and how people <laughs> would feel if they knew that we were feeling angry or that we were feeling frustrated or, or hateful. <laughs> Whatever negative emotion we can be experiencing, resentful or, or sad or depressed or disempowered or victimized. And it's very important to become aware of that and to, to no longer resonate with those judgments, to give yourself the space, the time to heal, to grow, to understand yourself and your negative emotions so that they can be cleared. And no process of judgment is going to do that, meaning that if you go into a negative emotional state and then you judge yourself for it and you feel bad about it, that now takes you into a different part of yourself and a, a different cycle, the cycle of judgment, essentially. And in the cycle of judgment, there cannot be the understanding, there cannot be the information, the insights that are required in order for you to transcend the negative emotions. It's a different energy state. It's a different uh, part of yourself that is judging the part that is uh, experiencing negative emotions. So if you can remember that when you get into negative emotional states, when you feel negative emotions, whatever they might be, and you can realize any part of you that's judging that, that is feeling like, oh, that is not me. I don't identify with that. Or, oh, if this, this person or that person knew I was feeling like that, they would feel like I'm not good enough or I'm a bad person or I'm wrong for feeling the way I'm feeling. Once you realize that that's happening and then you apply a process to releasing your negative emotion, then you are staying in the part, you're staying in the energy of the emotion itself and what is uh, generating that negative emotion. And once you do that, then you can clear it. <laughs> so the judgment can help you. It only uh, magnifies uh, feeling negative, so low vibration energy, uh, and it doesn't resolve it. It doesn't resolve anything. If anything, it adds a layer. So now you have the negative emotion, and then on top of it, you're putting the judgment. So you're putting a, a layer on top of, of the negative emotion, and now you feel uh, even more, more um, essentially uh, not good enough. You feel even less than, uh, unworthy, undeserving, right? Because there's a negative emotion and then there's a judgment of the negative emotion. So um, it takes time to get out of that process and that tendency that is a collective tendency to judge ourselves when we feel negatively, when we have negative thoughts or negative emotions. And ultimately, doing so will empower you to truly uh, comprehensively resolve any negative emotion that you've been identified with and therefore have more peace, have more joy, uh, be more of who you want to be, not from uh, expectation, not from a sense of pressure and judging yourself if you're not, simply from a sense of uh, intention and realizing the benefit of, of being in a positive emotional state and how that is going to uh, essentially inform your uh, choices in life and therefore is going to have positive results in your life, right? So if we go into judgment about our negative emotions, then we're in a low vibration state and then we make choices or decisions from that low vibration state and that influences the results that we get.
and we don't get what we want. So if we don't fight our negative emotions, if we don't judge them, if we accept them, embrace them, invite them even, and find out why we have them, then we get to the root of them and we can resolve them permanently. I hope this was helpful and that uh, over time you're able to release more and more of your negative emotional states and negative emotions and that you feel better and better and more and more at peace and joyful and that you feel love in your heart as a result. Sending you much love.